Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amna and in this video we are going to talk about the synapse and the classification of the synapse. How the synapse is divided into many types in the body. So without further ado, let's talk about this. But before moving ahead, we want I want to talk about the synapse. If you don't about if you don't know about the synapse, the understanding the classification becomes very difficult what is a synapse basically the exon terminals and the synaptic cleft and the dendrites of another neuron the these three all make the synapse the exon terminal of a one neuron is also known as a presynaptic neuron while the dendrite of another neuron it is also known as a post synaptic neuron and the space between that one thing it may be of 20 to 40 nanometers and that space is known as the synaptic cleft all right for example, this is an exon terminal. This is a part of the neuron. And from here, the nerve impulse is coming. When the nerve impulse is coming down, when it reaches the exon terminal, it causes the opening of certain calcium channels. And they are known as voltage-gated ion channels. When these ion channels are opened, what is going to happen next? The calcium ions outside the neurolemma are going to move in. When they move in, they just take the vesicles. These vesicles are the synaptic vesicles. They bear the neurotransmitters inside. And when the calcium is going to take these synaptic vesicles and they, it causes that vesicle to diffuse with the membrane when that vesicle is going to diffuse with the membrane the neurotransmitters are going to liberate it in the membrane in the synaptic cleft when we are seeing these neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft they will ultimately bind with the receptors and when they are going to be bind with the receptors the sodium potassium channels locating in the neurolemma are going to be opened and they carry the same procedure like the action potential now what is going to be happen the uh, the sodium outside is going to move in and the potassium inside is going to move out and then this whole mechanism is going to carry on to the whole neurolemma or neurolemma of the neuron right so this is the simplest way of conducting the synapse in the in the brain in the body of a whole organisms now we are going to talk about the different classification of the synapse okay it means that that we are going to talk about how the different types of synapses are going to be made in the body. Number one is the anatomical classification. Number two is the functional classification. Number three is based on the functions of actions, right? Let's talk about this. You will find here some of the categories listed below. There are uh, categories. Anatomical classification bears exodendritic synapse, exoaxonic synapse, dendrodendritic synapse, dendroaxonic synapse, exosomatic synapse, and then most important thing which is a neuromuscular junction. Alright, functional classification include chemical synapse, electric synapse. First of all, you don't have to worry about such different difficult words. Although this seems very difficult, but when you learn about it, this seems very, they will be easier for you, right? Based on the functions, excitatory synapse and the inhibitory synapse. Let's discuss about it one by one. On the basis of the anatomical classification, we have exodendritic synapse. Okay? Exodendritic synapse means the exon 
ऑफ अ वन ईयर ऑन एंड द डेंड राइट ऑफ एनदर ईयर ऑन ठीक है एग्जॉन ऑफ वन ईयर ऑन डेन राइट ऑफ एनदर ईयर ऑन इन द सेम कैस हेयर यू आर सींग दैट दिस इज अ सोमा सेल बॉडी एंड फ्रॉम द सेल बॉडी द डेन राइट्स आर अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द डेन राइट्स देन फ्रॉम द सोमा द एग्जॉन इज अराइजिंग ऑल राइट एंड एग्जॉन इज हैविंग द एग्जॉन टर्मिनल्स इट सीम्स वेरी वायर्ड पिक्चर बट फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट इज लुकिंग वेरी गुड नाउ दिस इज अ वन ईयर ऑन एंड द एग्जॉन ऑफ द वन ईयर ऑन आर कंडक्टेड विद द डेंड्राइड्स ऑफ अनदर ईयर ऑन राइट इट इज अनदर ईयर ऑन हैविंग अ डेंड्राइड सेल बॉडी दैन द एग्जॉन दैन द एग्जॉन टर्मिनल्स राइट सो दिस पिक्चर इज शोइंग दिस इज अ जंक्शन ऑफ द एग्जो डेंड्राइटिक साइन ऑप्स राइट Moving forward and talking about the exo-exonic synapse, then we have a one neuron, one exon of one neuron, and the other neuron is sharing also its exon parts. Right? You can see this is a one neuron, this is a second neuron, and they are sharing. This is exon terminal, and this is also the exon of another neuron. That synapse is known as exo-exonic synapse. Moving forward and talking about another these. Exodendritic synapse means exon of one neuron, dendrites of another neuron. Here you can see exon and dendrites. Exosomatic neuron, exon of one neuron, and the somatic body or the cell body of another neuron. Exon of one neuron and exon of another neuron. In the case you are seeing over here, dendrodendritic means dendrite of one neuron and dendrites of another neuron. Right here you can see in the case. All right. The neuromuscular junction is very common in our body, which is uh, which consider uh, which requires a lot of attention uh, to understand. Here you can see this is a neuron. All right. And as we know that uh, our muscle have the neurons, and that neuron mostly is a most motor neuron. So this is a motor neuron, and that is having the axon. So this is the axon of a motor neuron. and it is ending with the muscle and that muscle is known as that ending is known as motor end plate right so this is creating the neuromuscular junction when the neuron is ending with the muscle there is not any neuron but another muscle the neuron is connecting with the muscle that junction is known as a neuromuscular junction right now you are seeing the neurolemma of the uh, neuron and the sarcolemma of the muscle and they are binded together right moving forward in talking about the functional classification we have the chemical synapse chemical synapse include uh, the neuron that uh, the terminals the axon terminals must bear the vesicles inside the vesicles there may be the neurotransmitters and neurotransmitters are going to be released in the synaptic cleft so there will be the space between one neuron to the other neuron and that is known as a chemical synapse right and the electrical synapse does not need any neurotransmitter they are easily passed from one neuron to the another neuron with the help of the gave junctions right they are going to be passed from one neuron to the another with the help of the gap junctions right in the case of here there is no need of the neurotransmitter so when neurotransmitter is not needed the function is very fast right very very fast in case of some cardiac muscles uh, right the electrical synapse is going to work very efficiently moving forward in talking about on the basis of functions so most importantly we have two excitatory and inhibitory some of the neurotransmitters work work to excite the neurons and some of the neurotransmitter work to inhibit the work of another neuron we have some of the acetylcholine which is excitatory synapse excitatory neurotransmitter glycine gamma amino butyric acid which is commonly known as the gamma or and the dopamine is also the inhibitory neurotransmitters when they are inhibitory neurotransmitters when they are created with the synapse that is known as inhibitory synapse right 
I hope you understand about this. If you have any query, any question re re regarding the synapse and the classification of synapse, you can uh, write it on on the comment box. And thanks for watching this. And you must subscribe for being connected with us.